okay things need to change I need to change myself and change the way that I play this game because it's just not working um some things that I need to change, okay? <laughs> I need to stop looting so much. I don't need all that food because we just get too over encumbered and it just makes things so difficult. I have to ride everywhere by myself. I can't fast travel, which just takes so long. I always get sidetracked, something happens. And then on the inverse, if I do fast travel, I always get ambushed by bandits and I die and I lose hours and hours of progress. So second thing I need to change is I need to save the game way more regularly. I can't hoard the savior schnapps, whatever they're called. I can't hoard them anymore. I need to save the game. So I think if I just do those two things, I think that the game will go a lot more smoothly for me. Um, yeah, because I just lose hours and hours and hours of footage. And it's just, it's it's a lot, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think that's all. I did speak about the mutt problem in the last video too. Mutt ran away, um, so I need to change the way I handle that um, as well. Um, yeah, that's all I can remember right now. I'm sure there are many, many other things that I'm doing wrong that I need to change. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that's what we'll be doing from now on. Stop dying. Stop dying so much and losing hours and hours of footage. Stop hoarding everything and then I'll be able to finally maybe get somewhere. Oh, we failed the quest too last time we played. The priest won't talk to us anymore. We've offended him. We kept him waiting twice because we got ambushed by bandits and obviously that held up time and we missed our meeting. And now he won't speak to us. So let's look and see what needs doing, I guess. Courtship. Teresa, Mila Pacheck's niece is a good friend of mine from Scarlet's. I've known her since we were children and we've been through a lot together. I haven't spoken to Teresa for ages. I should stop by and see her. She's got a lot of work at the mill though and only has time before noon. Oh, well, she doesn't seem busy now, so let's have a chat. Greetings, Henry. Hi. How have you been? Do you want something? <laughs> I've bought you something. I don't think we have anything. How have you been? So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scarlet's. Mm. I know. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. I've got lots to do right now. But I'd oh, love to go no. another time. Will but you come you, and see me again? But you would just As singing. her ladyship commands. <laughs> you just don't. Or are you about to start? Okay, I guess we have to come early in the morning, maybe. As soon as she wakes up. As soon as she gets out of bed. Hi, Teresa, let's go for a walk. <laughs> Do you want something? Do you want something? I'd like to ask a favour of you, Hal. Oh. Of course. What is it? I heard you're picking people to carry water. Oh, yeah. No one needs the job more than Antonia. Antonia. Adam never mentioned any Antonia. I'm not surprised. But Antonia really needs that job. Okay. Done. It's hers. It's hard work. What's wrong with her husband? It's hard work. Do you think she'll be able to handle carrying those buckets? It's quite mm. far and up that hill. She's no princess. She's tough enough. All right, we'll see. I'm responsible for it. What do you mean I'm responsible for it? All right, we'll see. All right, all right. I'll bear it in mind. Bear it in mind? What does that mean? It means I'll think about it. The bailiff has the last word. Well, if he's got something against giving the job to a woman, then try and get Vincent in at least. All right. He might not have anyone on their deathbed, but his mother has no one else. I need a few people. Okay. <laughs> She got pretty snappy. All right, Antonia and Vincent. How many do we need, actually, for the Aquarius? I think it was called the Aquarius. Yes, Aquarius. Oh, we don't have it here. I think we need three for water and two for shit. 
All right, well, progress. We will do that quest now, I guess. I like Teresa. I like talking to her. Aquarius, the Ratai Bailiff has worked to offer some of Scarlet's refugees, carrying water and emptying Lorene, latrines. He wants me to find out which of them are most needy and suitable for the job. I should talk to the Scarlet's refugees who are interested in jobs. Before I even start looking for carriers, I should talk first to Alex, the son of the Scarlet Bailiff. Ooh, okay. Who now speaks for the Scarlet survivors. He should be able to help me. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so Alex is the son of the bailiff in Scarlet's. The bailiff also said that Merchant Hagen is looking for a cook and he's willing to take one of our people, but for he has certain requirements. I need to go and talk to him about what he expects from the cook. Teresa wants me to find work for Antonia and Vincent. Oh, awesome. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We also need to give Alex 70 meat. Maybe let's do some hunting. If we're going to speak to Alex anyway, um, let's bring him some meat. You know, two birds, one stone. Um, can you like, can I get him to other commands, stop barking, stay. Wait here for me. <laughs> yep, just wait, just stay. wait. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Stay. Your dog will say put until we come back for him. You can always call him back by holding triangle. He will then start walking with you. Ah, the same as if you'd given him the command free. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Oh, we got it. Yes. All right. We're getting somewhere. And you know what? We're going to save it. Alex, I have meat. Bring Alex, oh, hair meat. Why does it have to be hair meat? Oh my God. Mutt, are you hungry? Do you want some deer? Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, that's so cool. That they animate that, you know? All right, we need hair. Literally right in my face. Literally right in my face, fucking hell. All right, we got one. 19. We need 80. Oh my god. 70. I can hear talking. Are they the bandits that we were supposed to kill? Oh, I should probably save it again. Drinking? Reach the new level in drinking? Okay. Oh, because Savior Schnapps are alcoholic. Right. Suspicious looking man. Let's get our dagger out. Why won't it let me equip? Okay. Well, I never. So why can't I kill him? Mother of God. I think hmm. they are. Are our... you looking for something? Who are you? I think these are the bandits. Is someone ah. here? Gone weak at the knees, have you? I think these are the bandits. Let's get our shield out. <laughs> God. Huh. I'm pretty sure they, they were the bandits. So now, where was Ginger hiding? Because we need to go back to him too. To let him know. Drinking point. Beer biba. The beer you, you get is 50% weaker, so you can drink more, but wine is twice as strong. All right. Under the influence of alcohol, your hand will shake 25% less, and your bow skill is higher by plus two, but you're when sober, your hand. No. No, that's not good because we're going to be sober the majority of the time, you know. The wine you get is 50% weaker. I don't know what the. I don't know why this matters, you know what I mean? Wine is t wine is twice as strong. Yeah, we'll get beer bibber. Hunting. Antlers. Enables you to get antlers from hunted animals. Ooh, how much do they sell for? Tusks. You're able to remove tusks from some animals. Let's do antlers. Uh, we hunt deer. We haven't hunted boar yet. Ooh. Mercenary bedfellow. 
Oh, this one's better. All right, we've got ourselves a new sword. Oh, yes. I'm pretty okay when they're like right up, when they're like right here. <laughs> but when they're a normal distance, I struggle. Yes. Oh, vitality. Oh, yay, we finished. We did it, we did it, we did it. I'm so excited. We're going to save it again. I know, it's such a waste, but I have to do it, you know. It's just, it's just how I have to play. I just lose way too much progress and it makes me not want to play anymore, which is not good, you know, because I like this game. I'm really enjoying it and, you know. I have a video, I have a series I need to complete. <laughs> Bo, right at the, what? Fight, oh, oh my God. Well, we've saved it, so let's fight. Where are the foes? Villager. What? Priest. Where's the foe? All right, game. Let's go into the town. Let's see if Alex is around. Hey, hold what? right there. Show me what you have on you. Why? Well then. What? Such are my orders. Search me then. Do you really want to search me? Um, well, we have eight charisma. Yeah, do you really want to search me? You want to pick over oh. my personal effects? You can't be serious. I'm in no mood for your nonsense. All right, that never works. If you insist. Are you yanking my pizzle? What? Hand over all the stolen goods you have. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Now you can enter. What the fuck? <laughs> what stolen goods? Yeah, my horse has everything. Haha. <laughs> Shit. All right. I shouldn't try to reason with guards. It never works. Alex, I've got some meat. Oh, uh, shit. Sod off. <laughs> Is there any way here I can sleep? Oh, vitality. Marathon man. You run slower, but keep it. No. You run faster, but also tire faster. No, thank you. You don't either overeat or go hungry for five consecutive days. You get a plus one bonus to vitality and agility. Ooh. Human dustbin. You can dispel hunger with anything. You won't suffer from eating poisoned or spoiled food, but neither will you have any positive effect from it. Does not apply to alcohol. Okay. I like this one. Balanced diet. You don't either overeat or go hungry for five consecutive days. And a one plus bonus to vitality and agility. Yeah, okay. Cool. What? What do you mean I've committed a crime? What crime have I committed? I'm just walking. I got your meat. Good health to you. You there, stop! What? Surrender. You'll have to answer for your law breaking. I haven't you... done anything. What have I done? You were seen going around in the dark with no light. That's forbidden here. Is that clear? This I'm... definitely won't come cheap. I'm pretty sure. You'll learn. Crime doesn't I'm pay. I'm pretty sure I had my torch on. Oh no, ten dollars, please no. Right. Here you are. You've paid for your crimes. I hope you've learned your lesson. Oh, so I bought him 59. So what, it does it automatically? But I have more hair meat. Where is he? This is so confusing. Like, I have your hair meat. Why can't I just talk to you and why can't there be like a give meat? Hey, Alex, but why does it have to be so weird? Just to torment me? This game just wants to torture me. Hey, Alex, your outfit doesn't match. See? Like... Good luck to you. I've got more meat. Like, I don't... Oh. Oh, it's what? Updated. 58. I, d I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. I don't get it. I don't know what's happening with this quest. It's like the game just wants to, like, drip feed him my meat. Like, sporadically. Um, it's very strange. It's very weird. I, I don't know what's going on. It's shit like this 
that makes me angry at the game, you know? Talk to the people who are interested in jobs. Talk to the merchant Hagen. Wait until Alex sends all the people. Look around the church for the in housekeeper Agnes. Oh, is that that lady with the really messy room? Beggar, oh, this bitch. What do you got, want? I can give you a job. Uh, do you want a job? Maybe I could get you some work. Oh, what? If you know how to cook food for nobles. And where would I learn that? In Scarlet's? If it's gruel with lard you're after, fine. But that ain't really fair for a lord. No, I reckon not. Well, it's not a job for you then. So why waste my time talking about oh, it? Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. I'm sorry. Something worthwhile. You're to so tell me. you're so busy. Maybe you're so busy. Again. See, bring Alex here. Me. No, what's happening? What's going on? Sorry, Jane. I'm sorry to to interrupt. your 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 busy. You're very busy. Fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> I am so <laughs> so <laughs> angry. <laughs> um, Agnes, here you go. What do you want from me? Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did. Before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper. And everyone I asked said very to you. Echoey. I've been blessed That's by really God. Cool. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well... Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Merchant Hagen isn't just anybody. Aye, I've heard of him, that he's a good Catholic. Really? Uh, uh, well, yeah, sure he is. Truly. People still talk about the lovely service he arranged for his wife's funeral. So mm -hmm. you wouldn't mind being his housekeeper? Well, I don't know. What will Father Francis do? He doesn't need a housekeeper anymore. What happened to our parish priest? Where's Father Francis now? Yeah. What? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. Mm. I've heard no word of him since then. He's probably does dead Does he go then. to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. God bless. Okay, find the Scarlet's priest. Okay. What are you here for? Um, maybe to buy something or trade? Why is everyone so rude? So I think that we've gotten in trouble for poaching. I think that's why the guard we've lost reputation and why the guards are so angry because i remember now when we took that quest and we were like oh i don't see what the problem is i i got into a fight with hans and no one cared so i think um yeah i just assumed that it would be fine you know but no apparently not so we're gonna leave that do you hate him yay Conrad Hagen. I hear you were looking for a cook. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook, but I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Uh, what do you expect from the cook? Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Huh? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. Mm. I understand. Sorry. <laughs> what? So, a housekeeper? A water carrier? I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't a cure to anyone sooner. Cured. It will certainly benefit the city if hmm. the burgers don't have to send their own servants. Yeah. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, hmm. of course. It goes course, without of saying. Of course. I hear you need people to empty latrines. I also heard that you need workers to carry uh, 
to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Uh, May the Lord watch over. I mean, it's I mean in front of the food. Okay, I can respect that, I guess. But still, it's a little silly. It's a little childish. You know. Grow up, Hagen. All right, let's go to the rat, rat house. Rat house, however you say it. Are these the people? This must be the people. Pikmin carrying water. You hear about the water carrying? Aye. I can haul water all day long. So do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? How, do you make, how did you make a living before this? So tell me. What was your trade before? I was a miner, then mm -hmm. a farm labourer, hey, then I was a before? servant, then I fled from Skullets and ended up here. That's a good Quite resume, the mate. Tatum, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all, but they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say, leave this and go and do that. Hey, your name is Pickman. Pickman. That's your name? Is he a Rob? Uh, actually, is, is he my real name's Vassal, but they call me Pickman. Is that German? Not talking to me? No. It's from when I was in the mines. Okay. Digging with a pick. Okay. You could Not carry water, or you could carry something out. Besides water, you could carry... Um, you could empty latrines. Hey, what? Am I invisible? Carry shit? It's That'd double. Be a new one for me. It's double no, pay. It's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. It's double pay. Why not? Can we not mention that? How are you doing? How are you holding up anyway? Not what can I tell you? I've oh, seen better us. days for sure. You're not talking to the bailiff. What happened with the bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. Mm. That. Peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me not he'd no to time me. to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. Not All right. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed then? When do I start working? Look, the bailiff is the one who will decide after I report back to him. So, uh -huh. I might not get the job? Mm -hmm. It's an interview. I'll be in the shit if I don't. Understand? Well, you can carry shit. There's, there's shit. You can carry shit. God, these people are so desperate. But when you give them a job that, pay, that they don't like and pays double, I, no, I can't do that. But I need to eat. Um, Teresa's friends. Why can't I bring up the names? Cornelius was was he one? Antonia, I think that was her. G'day. What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want? I want to work. And I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me, though. So I came here myself. I have more than enough people. This isn't a job. Look, I already have more people than jobs. You're a bit late. But I really need a job. Well, so does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. What's wrong with him? He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. I'm sorry to hear it. Mm. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. How did you make a living before? What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? Mm. There's a cook's oh, job. If you know how to cook fine food, I could get you a job at the merchant's house. You'd have a nice roof over your head there too. All I've ever cooked is gruel and soup. Mm. Nothing fit for nobles. 
A roof would be grand, though. Not too much for me, but for my husband. Is there any way you could arrange it? No. Mm -hmm. Not unless I lied about your cooking skills. Yeah. But he'd find out soon enough, and then we'd both be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll talk to the bailiff. All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? Good luck, then. <sighs> she, uh... I mean, the game's right. You know what I mean? Like, she's a... Women aren't as strong as men, you know? Carrying water... It's... It's... It's hard. It's... Yeah. Uh, you know, because if I pick the wrong person, it's going to fall back not just on me, but the town. The village people will suffer because the person that was hired to do the water physically can't do it you know it's sad but like i have to be realistic as well you know Jesus what Christ i mean be praised you're interested in carrying water i am it's about time something good came to decent folk i agree now i'll ask you a few questions what but i want the work and i deserve it keep your questions for good for nothings wow these aren't good these are not good candidates what makes you so deserving how did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. Carrying water is hard work. It's hard work carrying water. So is taking care of a mine. It's not quite the same thing, is it? Mm -hmm. You need brawn to carry water, not brains. Yeah. I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of hauling. There's also the option of, um, emptying latrines. Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Mm -hmm. Double, hey? Oh, that's not bad, not bad, but, uh... For a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm. Double. Mm. Yes. Why didn't we tell Pikmin about that? How are you holding up in Ratoy? Not too well. I've tried offering my administrative abilities at the Rat House, but the bailiff treats me like a peasant. He's not an easy man to deal with, true enough. But if you show him what you're capable of... Well, if he gives you a chance to show him. Uh, I'm going to need to write these people's names down. So, Pikmin. He's a bit wishy-washy, isn't he? There's Antonia, woman. <laughs> um, sick husband. And I think his name is Cornelius, but... Well, the bailiff complained he couldn't get a word out of you. I refused to talk to him. Last time I did, he was vulgar, shouted and threatened to whip me. And then he comes and interrogates me. Well, I can't see how that would put you off him. So no one gets along with the bailiff? Supposing I put in a word for you? What would you give me if I put in a good word for you? So that's how it is, is it? An honest person can't get a job. Only one who'll stoop to bribing. Come now. I just want to help. But I'll have my job cut out persuading the bailiff to take you. All right. I don't have anything. But I know the armourer in Sassau. And he'll give you a good price if I have a word with him. Cheap armour might come in handy, all right? Done. Done. As soon as I get the job, come and see me and I'll tell you all about it. I didn't realise we were bribing Cornelius, miner, owner, cheap armour. God, there's so many people. Um, on, if I Honestly, none of these candidates are... Uh, but how many water pickers do we need? I, I was sure that we needed three. Three for water and two for shit, I think. Rock, how are you going? Good day to you. Carrying water. You're one of the people interested in work. Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines. And not just in the mines. So... Peter, can you carry where you are miner? At the mines. So you're a miner? That's right. I worked in the East Shaft, and I hope I'll be working there again. Now that I think of it, 
Have you heard anything from their lordships? When will they open the mines again? I don't know, and that's not what I'm here for. I don't know what they're planning. I don't know what they're I have planning. no idea what their lordships plan to do about it. All right. I just thought you might have heard something. Can you carry water? How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. It's not easy work, though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock on your knees all day for months on end? Uh -uh. Or you could carry something else. There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. It pays double. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I oh, couldn't go back to mine for that. Being a creep. <laughs> uh, you get twice the pay. It would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. But what about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. Radzik will take surely care of it. What? There's more money in it. So we get seven. Because we get plus two charisma. Radzik will take surely care of it. I don't know what that means. There's more money in it. Look at it this way. You learn double the money in the same time, or the same money mm -hmm. in half the time. That's not bad, is it? Mm. Well, you have a point. I could get it over and done with quickly, and... Hmm. All right, I'll take it. I suppose it won't kill me. Okay. Good. I'm sure you won't regret it. Rock, Peter, shit, tick. <laughs> How are you getting on? How are you holding up? You mean this here? Well, I've got feeling back in my arm again. What happened to it, anyway? Mm. That time in Scalitz. I was knocked down by a horse. But it's better now. But your arm is crippled. Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not healed. You can't carry water. Like oh, that. my God. Oh, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones, and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. I can't take you. You can't handle the job. Uh, I mean, he's he's agreed to carry shit, you know? Fucking hell. All right, I won't tell right. anyone. We'll keep it between the two of us. You don't have to worry. Thanks. I owe you. Oh, my God. Fucking hell. You didn't want to speak to the, the bailiff? bailiff? said he couldn't get a word out of you. Well, he's not the no. most popular man around here, after everything that's happened. You can't blame us. Well, maybe, but if you lot had just talked to him, I wouldn't have to run around dealing with this, and you'd all have a few groschen by now. You might be right, but there's no point crying over spill. Why are people so useless? I feel like a, like a recruiter or something, <laughs> like an interviewer right now. And uh, it's not good. It's not good. Everyone is useless. That's enough for now. Take care now. All right. Fucking hell. Okay, we have a possible shit carrier. Tonda. Jesus Christ be praised. Carrying water. You're here about the water carrying. Ham. Where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. What are you able to do? What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. <laughs> You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Okay. Ah, uh, the name good. sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winter was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So I get the job. Uh, we're not finished yet. Ah, uh, this is too... this is too real. Um... Yeah. Can you carry water? Are you here because you want to carry water? Well, I'd rather be back in the winch. Turning it so fast I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water at least. Since there's some money in it. Or you could carry something else. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um, shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. No one's trying to make you. Uh, you'll get paid twice as much. It's a job for a real man. And you'll get paid twice as much. And what if I told What's you the... that you get double the pay? 
Didn't I mention something about breaking legs? You, you, you did, but more money. I wouldn't be turned to the winch anymore. Huh? More like turned to the stench. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? And how are you holding up? <laughs> Not very well. I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. Tonda strong. It's not enough. Yeah, he's a Especially good. Especially when the dice don't fall in my favor. He's sure. a good candidate for and water. Have you tried looking for other work? What for? They'll get the mines running again, and I'll have a real man's job. Uh, what about joining the garrison? There's no work for strong. What about joining the garrison? What about soldiering? Oh, hell. That's real man's work, isn't it? <laughs> it is, and I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse. Which I once showed to a soldier I fell out with over a game of dice. Only, aren't he smart for soldiering? Mm, no doubt. I'm just losing reputation all over the place. What have you got against the bailiff? I you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it at the mines. He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. Ah, uh, that'll do me. I know everything I need. So, can I go carry water then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff and he'll choose. Well, I hope he chooses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. I'll bear it in mind. You don't frighten me. I'll bear it in mind. I'll bear that in mind. Take care now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vincent, you look familiar. My respects to you. I think that that might be... Are you here about work? Are you here on account of the water carrying? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I ask away. How did you make a living before? What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what? Who's your father, anyway? He's... He was Moimir. Moimir. We had a farm near Scarlet. Really? His farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. You could carry water. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I, I want to carry water. That's all? You've nothing more to add? Th that's what's needed, ain't it? How are you managing? How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. You haven't been talking to the bailiff. What happened with bailiff? You couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. Alright. That's enough for now. Vincent, nice enough. <laughs> I've got, I've got notes for everyone. Um, is that it? That's it. Okay. So we have Pikmin, wishy-washy, Antonia, woman, sick husband, Cornelius, mine owner, uh, cheap armor, rock, Peter, um, shit, Tonda Strong. All right. Um, all right. I, I think, I think. All right, let's go talk to the bailiff and we'll go from there. I was hoping we could get Kunesh to carry shit. <laughs> hey. God be with you. Did Olympi Lubosh from Ushits give you trouble here? Did you have some trouble here with a fellow from Ushits they call Limpy Lubosh? We did indeed. He was looking for a fight and resisted arrest. He got a taste of the rod and the stocks and so did his cronies. Can so he had cronies. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. There was one from Vlashim and another from somewhere hereabouts. They called him by a funny name too. Smelly or lousy or something ridiculous like that. Anyway, it should all be written down in the records. Okay. Can I have a look at them? It's not my responsibility, I'm afraid. Friedrich the Scribe takes care of the records, and he's sick now. He said he'll be back to work when his joints stop aching. You'll have to arrange it with him. All right. Okay. Um, I've made a decision. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? 
should I name them or I don't want to have anything to do with it. I don't know yet. Should I name them? Or? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Okay. Don't worry, I'll send for them. All right. Um, so we'll go Tonda. Tonda the Winch. Tonda. They call him the Winch. The Winch. Not to be good with a bucket anyway. Mm -hmm. What's he going to do? Carrying water. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Um, Rock. Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Mm -hmm. Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? I'm till a trance. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. We'll go Cornelius. Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Um, he seemed pretty interested in carrying shit. Um, I mean the money. The money made him raise his his eyebrows. Um, we'll go back. Or actually. maybe someone else. Um, Jesus, I can see this ain't going to be easy. Hang on. Um, I want to Vincent. Vincent. Vincent, my mere son. We'll get Vincent. Our... Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? Carry water. To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Pickman. Vasu. Goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin. I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. That's what no, I... No, no. Hmm. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines. And he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Cornelius. Carrying shit. <laughs> Good. One person for this job. Next. That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I'd like to ask again about that job. I've decided about the cook. Um... I chose a cook as well. Should I tell you or go to Hagen? Tell me who you chose and I'll take care of it. No, I don't want... I want I the... I had no joy finding a cook. There's no one among the Scalitz folk that can cook anything better than gruel and cabbage soup. All right, I'll ask around myself. No, I wanted to... Why did it do that? Oh. All right. Whatever. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. What have we got here? Entertainment. Great. What? Why? Uh, a person you anger will be uh, appeased by your imprisonment. What? Uh, what do you mean? What happened? Poison. Why, uh, why are you attacking me? Oh, dear. Uh, no one else is backing you up, like... I don't know why you're attacking me. No! You know, you little bitch. God, what did I do to him? Is that it, man? I think this might be it. Yeah, this is it. Where did Ginger go? I hope he didn't die. Oh, on your way to see an armed man who's clearly waiting for something. It's not likely a bandit would be stand... Okay, examine. Hey, what are you doing? Friend, could I have a word with you? Yeah, you don't sound suspicious. A faint heart at night. Talk. Speak. Friend. Speak. Could... What is it then? <clears throat> it's about this. I challenge you to a duel. Okay. Sir. What? So you're wanting to you prove heard? himself don't or something? Don't try to wriggle out of it. Let's get to it. He doesn't seem very eager. All right, let's fight. What's this about? I'm not in the habit of fighting to the death with fellows I meet by chance on the road. Tell me first what this is all about. What's happening is I'm challenging you to a duel, you disgusting man. <laughs> I spit in your face. Eager, aren't you? Mm. Who are you, anyway? 
I am Sir Olbram of Lossany. Pleased to meet you, Sir Olbram. So, what are you after? Mm. Uh, my mother sent me out to get some experience. She's obsessed with tales of chivalrous oh knights. Oh my god, In your mum wants you to... she sent me off looking for some virgin to save. And to win glory in combat. Oh my god. But I have to admit, I'm not very good at it. Oh my god, what a horrible mother. Let's fight a duel for what? This is foolishness. Why not start with the damsel? This is... This is foolishness. That's a damn foolish idea. Mm. You ought to go home. I'd love to. But what shall I tell Mama? Tell her so, to forget so, about her diseases and leave you alone. Not only will you have peace, but no doubt your subjects will take you more seriously too. That's easier said than done. I'm not sure I have the courage for that. You have the courage to accost wayfarers and challenge them to duels. Yeah. Surely you can talk to your mother. You're gonna get well, yourself killed. I suppose so. Your mother does Thank not you care about you. Encouraging words. At all. Not to be of service, sir. Oh my god, poor guy. Never mind. Oh, I feel I'll so. I'll wait here for someone else. No. I don't suppose it matters who chops my head off. Go home. I convinced you to go home. Ugh, I feel so sorry for him. What an idiot. <laughs> yes, go home. What? On your way, said Iron Man is clearly waiting for something. What do you mean? We already, we already spoke to him. What? Okay, why is the game glitching? We already spoke to him, game. It's fine. It's resolved. He's gone. Can we go to New 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 Newhoff? Newhoff, please. Newhoff. Newhoff. Ugh. We're gonna go to bed so we can wake up bright and early and go for our walk with Teresa. So what are we to do with you, Henry? Shall we take a walk? Shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Ooh, do we pick the tavern, Gallows Hill? A stroll along the river, yes. What if we took a stroll along the river? Yep. <laughs> Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Not now, but I'll pick you up later. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Ooh. If you must follow someone, slow down to a walk. That way you'll keep pace with them. Thanks, game. That was a good idea to go for a walk. Hmm. Not that I don't like the mill, but you get tired of it. So I'm yeah. glad you took me out. <laughs> I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever mm. been to Prague? No. no, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. Mm. I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah, really? so many people in one place. So many assholes. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, Henry. <laughs> Where's the river? I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to listen to him. And what about that fine fellow at St. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too. So don't give me any of that. Oh my you God. scoundrel. <laughs> well, all right. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. Tell you what. Let's not doddle. <laughs> Don't just Last one is a slimy slug. I mean, where are we going to? I don't know where we're going. Oh my god. Huh. I am not gonna lose. I don't know where we're going. Where is she? Where did she go? Don't disagree. Yeah, where is she? <laughs> that was fun. Sit down here next to me, Hal. Oh, I thought the game glitched. And what about you? 
I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? The lap of luxury. It's work like any other. So we have nine speech, nine charisma, and nine combat. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. All right. Uh, the lap of luck. Well, it's not really. It's work like any other. Uh, I don't know. I suppose it's a job like any other. Of course. I'm sure it's no different than being a charcoal burner. You'll have to try harder than that. I'm being modest. <laughs> no, it's not a lap. I mean, it's a lot of work still. I mean... Blushing. <laughs> See that? It's like. <laughs> now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. I hope your knees don't buckle. Not really. I have my hands full with my duties. The only one here whose head is all messed up is me. Oh, well, how should we play this? Um, let's play it cool. I hope your knees don't buckle. What? I hope your knees didn't buckle too. You rascal. You know what? Ask me another time. Another time? The next time you come to see me. You will come and see me again, won't you? I mean, we live together. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I am awfully busy. <laughs> well, if you do find the time, I'll be glad to see you. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. <laughs> I must ask Teresa out again in a couple of days. <laughs> Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. We live together, Teresa. We share a bedroom. <laughs> oh, we have a speech skill final offer when a trader loses patience with you during haggling you get one more chance to make another offer empathetic in dialogues you'll see your counterpart stats in skill checks <gasps> yeah silver tongue increases the speech skill when haggling troubadour you have a 50 percent higher reputation when you talk to women and a plus one speech bonus so you can persuade them more easily and you can avail of bath wenches services for free um i really like empathetic yes awesome why is our eustrit's reputation so low talmberg 49 why okay let's do a main quest talk to the ratai scribe and look through the ratai black chronicle for any record of lubosh i did want to go to the baths so let's check the baths out i would like to see what that oh hey pebbles I'd like to see what that's all about. Maybe we can blow off a bit of steam, if you know what I mean. Oops. Ah! I didn't... Hey! Watch out! Bloody fool! <laughs> and stay out of sight. What will people think if they see me talking to a vagabond like you? Why am I a vagabond? I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Um, to have a bath and launder my garments, to heal my wounds, heal my wounds at bath and laundry, to pay for a wench and everything that goes with that. Um, can we do the wench and the launder of my garments? I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. That can be arranged? But you'll pay in advance. Of course. 40 bucks. I can... Oh, let's haggle. <laughs> I'm not giving you that much. <laughs> and how much are you willing to pay? Mm. Uh, let's go. 30 is going to be too much. 35? You won't regret spending the money. Okay. I guarantee it. Shit. All right, so no, no cutscene, okay. <laughs> Just some noises. The bathmates will make a new man of you. 
I doubt it. What does that mean? What's that little symbol down there, man? Let's do some lock picking. I think we might we should we can move up to maybe higher difficulty chests. Um, we still need to do that townberg. Still the waffen rock. The waffen whatever they're called. Ooh, new level in lock picking. Why are you sleeping? God be with you. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. All right, I'll try and get some for you. All right, I'll try and get some for you. Everyone wants something. Scribe Frederick wants em embrocation for his joints. Scribe Friedrich needs the embrocation for his joints. What, again? He was here not long ago for some. He ought to make it last longer. I told him not to grease himself up so much. It could cause... Oh, the older he gets, the more foolish he is. Mm -hmm. Well, did he tell you such salvation is costly? Yes. Have a look in the shop for yourself. It's $82, oh my god. I bought you the embrocation. And you were right, it certainly wasn't cheap. Mm -hmm. I know, lad. I've been using it for years. Can I have a look at the Black Chronicle? Will you let me have a look at the Black Chronicle? Well, you helped me, so now I'll help you. Come along and I'll show you our Black Chronicle. That really is a miraculous ointment. You haven't even rubbed it on and it's already working. You know how it is. Faith itself is the greatest healer. Just thinking about the relief it will bring makes me feel better. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Come along. I can't read. Uh, could you find something for me in that book? The thing is, I don't, um... Don't know how to read, do you? So what do you need to know? I mean, I I'm trying to track down those Neuhof cutthroats, and I need to find out the names of any cronies of Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. Hmm, give me a while. So, did you find the record in the book? So did you find any mention of Limpy in the book? I did. Apart from Lubosch, there's mention of some Anton from Vlashim and Hinek, known as Riki, from Ledechko. Ledechko? That's a stone throw from here. Aye, certainly closer than Vlashim. Thanks for your help. Thank you for that ointment. Track down Riki. One of the members of the New Hop Gang, a fellow who goes by the moniker of Riki, should be somewhere in the vicinity of Ledet Co. Unfortunately, that's about all I could find out so far. I expect it shouldn't be too hard to, well, catch scent of this Riki, though I don't expect it will be a pleasant encounter. It's in here. Lockpick, very hard. What are you... What are you doing? Are you okay, Janik? Oh, Hey, Hans. Greetings. What do you need? Are you better? How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am! For all the good it does. The boredom here! Mm. The you can thing I have along with read me. is the Bible. And the Hanush won't let anyone near me but the priest. Oh. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. <laughs> he talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, he <laughs> talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I need a change of scene I before moss starts growing on me. Why the baths, Hans? For how long? What about your wounds? Well, we'll meet at the baths. Why the baths? Why to the baths? Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here any time you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. If I didn't know better, 
I'd say I was in love with her. Hmm. Sure. For how long? How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the few evening. Days. In the evening, fun. <laughs> What'd you say? Will you join me? Yeah, all right. How about your wounds? But what about your wounds, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. Hmm. We'll meet at the baths. Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right. All right. I'll come and join you there. See you later. Oh, Hans is our friend. We're friends now. Didn't see that coming in the beginning. <laughs> I hated him. But now we're friends. God be with you. Oh, I found your treasure. I found your treasure. Did we? Really? Really? And it wasn't easy. Did we? Oh, uh, nothing. I made a mistake. Sorry. Um, okay. Hey, hold right there. Show me what you have on you. I don't have anything. Are you... What's going on? Such are my orders. Orders from who? Oh, come on then. Are you yanking my pizzle? Hand over all the stolen goods you have. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Now you can enter. What stolen goods? In which I go to the baths to see Lord Capon and what befalls us there. Go in the evening. All right, well, I don't want to miss... You know what? Let's just go and just pass time. Because I don't want to risk not being... I have not... I don't want to risk missing it, you know? Like what happened with the priest. Looking for someone? Here I am, sir. In a moment, Henry. Wait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? Is she picking your lice or... That sounded like... Talk. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favour, Henry. Again. What, again? <laughs> now, what's your tone, peasant? You'd never think it. But Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. Let's strip her then. That wasn't the plan. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite. But maybe you can do better. Right then. You've got to beat Zdena at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his ass on show. What? You want me to beat her at dice? Right. Okay. Why the hell not? Play dice with Zenda, the bathmaid. All right. How are you getting on? How have you all been getting on here? Well, Lord Capon's been chasing us around a bit and so forth. Nothing we're not used to. Shall we play dice? How about a game of dice then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? Oh, who knows? Who knows? I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see how good you are. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. Uh, how do I do this again? So I have two sixes, fives, one five and one three four. Why did you... Jesus, I can't bear to watch. I oh, know. I think I understand. One is worth a hundred. So how many times can I roll? I'll do one. Oh, we have two threes. I mean, three threes. You haven't exactly gotten off to a good start, have you? I'll get it eventually. I'll get it. Maybe you'd have more luck if you remembered to throw the other dice. I don't... I'm so bad at this. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. But you're all right. All right, why not? Put your clothes in the trunk. But he's not even naked. He's fully clothed. Get into the bath dressed. Shift over. 
I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, but give me have... a moment and I'll roll it up again. Do we have clothes <laughs> on. Oh. Oh. That feels good. We have Matt, clothes don't take on. this yeah. personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I'm this... going cow pats less fragrant. <laughs> this ruins my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> You certainly know how to have a good time. Here, yeah, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. Oh, we so have. This a is how friend. you recuperate from your injuries: booze and wenches. Of course. Is there any other way? Of course. So, what news, Henry? Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough. Henry, these baths are just the thing, and Zdena here is very healing. Clara, bring what some we... wine for the gents before they get cross. What are we doing? What are we doing? You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local piss. Why did we get up? Clara, my most favourite is bath But Bath, admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is p p p pitiful. I saw Cape on what's bothering him. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though, where? Ah! I know! In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hannish bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? Yeah, why not? A... I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right. All right, then. What kind of wine is it? A silver and red. In the cellar under the rat house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right-hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? Well, that let me in. What, so I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No, not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes, probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? Which wine is it you want? The Sylvan Red. It's the very last keg on the right at the back. You'll recognise it easily. It's the only one that's tapped. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good, man. Aren't we, like, drunk? All right. Pebbles. Hey, Matt. Oh, shit. We should probably put our clothes on. The rear upstairs door. Oh, my God. I can't see. Lockpick hard. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, great. It won't let me save it. <gasps> we have no save your schnapps. Wait here for me. <laughs> Stay. Hard lock pick. Our first hard lock pick. Um, <laughs> all right. Fuck. I don't know where this wine is. I can't see. Oh my god, there's a guard. What do you mean too difficult? I just did some hards just before. Oops, no, no, no. Oh, great. No. What's going on there? Nothing. Hey, who's there? So I tried to open every single door in the rat house. I opened every door but the very hard ones because I can't. The game won't let me. And I just looked it up and apparently Hans has the key. In the bar it's in a trunk in the bathhouse. So now I have to go all the way back, get the key, and come back to the rat house. 
Ah, oh, this game does my head in. Oh my god. All right, now I'll go and get this fucking wine. Wait here for me. <laughs> All right, unlock. All right. Oh, two hours later. Maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. Very hard, so we can't get in there. Open. I'm guessing. What's. Oh, fuck. Mother. Is someone there? There are people. You've no in business here. here. Clear off. Are you deaf? What are you doing here? Get the hell out of here. There's nothing here for you. Is it there? Can you shut the fuck up? What the? What's with you? <clears throat> fuck off. <laughs> We're literally fighting. <laughs> Where all the guards are sleeping. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Taylor, you think you could just come and fucking hey, fight me? I mean, full armor. God, we do the knees, have you? You I just want right some you are. fucking wine, ah. like? I'll slaughter you. Now. They're still sleeping. All right, where's this fucking wine? It's not in there. You call that combat. This is where we came from. Fuck off. <laughs> is that the best you can do? Can I have some light, please? Bring it on. I just want some light. You know? I can hold my torch and climb a ladder, but I can't hold my torch Jesus and... Christ. But at the same time, you have died in combat. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Find the entrance to the cellar on the ground floor. Oh no. Knock out. All right, that was weird. All right, so this is the cellar. Pitcher of wine. Oh my god. Hey, you! What are you doing here? None of your business. I'm going to get wine for Capone. Laura Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Mm -hmm. Lord Capon, eh? A likely story. I'm only a servant. Don't you recognize me? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten charisma. Oh shit, we can see them. Look. Look. So eight speech. So six, seven, eight, nine. So he has more charisma than us. Alright, I'm only a servant. You clearly don't know Laura Capon. Do you think he's gonna leave in the middle of his merriment? To go and get his own wine? Ha! Huh. No, that doesn't sound like the young lord. I suppose he sent you for the Sylvan Red? Yes. The very one. Well, you'll leave some for Sir Hanush at least, won't you? <laughs> I'll try. Ooh! Really? We finally did it? Oh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, so quest log next to godliness. I have to get a picture, okay, it's optional. Find the, the silver and red. All right, where is it? We got the picture. So, where is this wine? Find the silver and red. Shouldn't it be in here?
Oh, fuck off, but... What do you want? You've no business here. Yes, I do. My respects to you. What was that noise? Uh... Take care of that. Mother of God! Be off now. You don't belong here. I'm trying to hey. find this red fucking wine! Where could he have vanished to? Right. He must be here somewhere. Oh my god. Hey. Fuck off. Gets away with beating people up around here. Damn it. Here's your coin then. You've paid for your crimes. All right, can you let me through now? Hey. Well. Hmm. So, this is the cellar. Use. Oh my god, okay. Alright, that was fucking dumb. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, $80 later, I beat up fucking Taylor. Or whatever, whoever the fuck he was. $80 later. So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? Yes. I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. It's what you wanted. Chastise component. I used your key. Chastars. What? That was a trick. For fuck's sake, if they caught me, I'd have ended up in the stocks. If I was lucky. Nonsense. I wouldn't have let them. Oh, thank you for your concern. Mm. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on then. Get it down you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Silver red. It's not like that donkey's piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Sylvan red. The taste is unmistakable. I doubt it would have looked like that. She would have definitely been naked in real life. Her hands. I'm not like the other girls. I know, Clara. You you are, are different. <laughs> you, you deserve more. Mm. You deserve flowers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of um, 
flowers do you like? Ah, uh -huh, well. I'm pretty sure I she's like the girl that we I spent like time with. Dandelions, oh. sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. Oh, Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests da dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> Right. No, no, not weed and poppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I'm, I'm sure know. I have some I in my inventory. I'm putting you to work again, but if you do it, I'll give you scrivency flowing groschen. <laughs> so, that much. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Oh, surely I have some oh, in my like inventory. Sage, something, something else. Get flowers. Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. Here we go again. Now Lord Capon wants me to get a bouquet of the for the bathhouse wench. I have to pick dandelions, sage, poppies, and roses. I have 14 poppies. I have nine sages. I don't have roses. I think I just need roses. Dandelions. I have five dandelions. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Who's this for? Is this for us or fucking Capon? He's the one that's interested in her. Why isn't he picking them? Oh shit, we need our clothes. We're drunk. <laughs> Imagine going through all this effort for a wench that you pay for. I don't think I've found any roses. This is the first roses. Roses for Clara. Bouquet for Clara. Oh, thank you. Thank you. At least we don't have to go the whole way back. What the hell are you doing here? What happened? Nice privacy, if you don't mind. I've come for my wench. Well, oh, no. as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie. But are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you shut your mouth, I'm not done with you! No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened. Nothing. We can talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard! I'd like to see you try, oh, Arsene no. Balls. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna get himself killed. The love of God, stop it, both of you! Fuck you now. <laughs> Hey! What do you think you're doing? Kick his balls! Get, get a new wire. Stop it. What the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman. Mm. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, Fuck. <coughs> I, I didn't know. Get out of my sight. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Phew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Um, Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Hans, oh. all you've done Drinking is sit the there. You. you haven't done anything. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. <laughs> it's morning. That was the most painful party 
I've ever been to. I woke up on a dung heap feeling the worst for wear. Even so, I'd better go and check whether Sir Hans hasn't drowned in the bathtub or something. Is that him? How are you, Henry? What will you do about Archibald? What will you do with him, Sir Hans? <coughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. What do you think I should do with him? Punish him, don't punish him. He was drunk and insane with jealousy. Mm. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. But he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sports, eh? Good yeah, time. and I had to do all the work. I like this game. But I fucking hate this game. It's so fucking annoying. Like, I literally spend so many hours doing that fucking quest, getting the, the, the drink. First, I spent so long unlocking every single door in that rat house, except for the very hards, because the game wouldn't let me do very hards. So I, I didn't to do so i went online i went on reddit and apparently like so many people are having the same issues saying i've spent hours i've spent so long this is so annoying hans had the key to the cellar in the trunk in the bathhouse so i went to the bathhouse grabbed the key went back tried to look again for where this fucking cellar door was found it and then that whole fucking Shit went down with all these people. It's oh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. This game. I don't know. I'm. I don't know. I, I'm done. I'm done being in denial about this game. I like this game. It's a good game, but I fucking hate it. I do. Hate is a strong word, but it's it's annoying. It's very 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 stressful. It's very janky and. Yeah, I love it and I hate it at the same time. You know, I'm always, I'm the type of person who always gives things the benefit of the doubt. I'm always like, you know what? It, it, it's, it's just me. I don't understand. I'm just, I just have to get good. I have to get good, you know? But no, yes and no. This, this game is, it, it, it's, it, <laughs> It's 40% me and 60% the game. Or maybe 30% me. You know? If you played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle. Oh, uh, and... Surrender! Yes, all right. You committed okay. a crime and I'm what? what crime did I commit? No one is allowed to creep around here without a light after dark. You were seen doing it, and you'll pay for it. I wasn't. You should have I... thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. Hey. Damn it. Here's your coin, then. All right. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Oh, God forbid. I don't have my light on for two seconds. Maybe we can give the bouquet to Teresa. All this talk of drinks has made me want a drink. God forbid, I need a drink after that. Actually, what time is it? Ooh, we can go see Teresa now. Let's see if we can go on our second date with Teresa. And maybe we can give her the bouquet. Oh no, she's probably too busy now. So what are we to do with you, Henry? I bought you something. I've brought you something. Jewelry, dagger. What about the bouquet? All right, silver ring. We're wearing it. No. Um, I must have dropped it somewhere. Probably wasn't the best idea anyway. <laughs> I wanted to give it. Oh, I've got a bouquet for you. There Teresa, we go. I brought you something. <laughs> my, my, how, how chivalrous. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Fancy doing some. Oh, I've come about the water carrying job. Uh, all right. How did things work out with the job I arranged? 
It's a pity you only managed to get one of them a job. Uh, the whole business wasn't worth a damn, and I'm sorry I got involved in it at all. Hmm. Okay. Fancy doing something again? I'd love to, Henry, but not just now. Come and see me in a couple of days. You've got to let a girl catch her breath now and then. I thought... I thought that's a couple of days. Oh my god, how embarrassing. Um, I thought it was a couple of days, Teresa. I'm hey. sorry. I'm... No, I don't want to bet on the tawny Peshek. At least we gave her the bouquet. Uh, let's see if we can read something. Um, I think we might have at least another book. Rule of Saint Benedict. Okay. We've read the sermon. Um, Tavern Life, we can't read that till level 10. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have any. Oh, Anthology of Love Poems. Okay. Gentle night, gentle night, why linger on? I yearn thus for my love so long. Without her words to still my breast, who shall set my soul to rest? And now my heart in sorrow dwells, from melancholic pining swells, since I, alas, was forced to part from the mistress of my heart. Ah, Lord, let me not wait in vain. I yearn to see my love again. Oh, gentle sir, be of good cheer. I shall not cling to another dear. <laughs> Poetry. Oh, hey. Hey, Teresa. I'm reading some love poetry. To love and be forlorn. To love and be forlorn is like night without a dawn. To be close with naught to say, like winter frost in May. To have lips and yet kiss not is like leaving grain to rot. To love without consummating is like unsown fields in the spring. I shall love you then, my dear, as long as you lie with me here. If you not give me all you, if you'll not give your all to me, no longer shall I bide with thee. Ode to women. Women is the root of. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Women is the root of sin, and yet of virtuous deeds again. In Eden it was woman's deed to pluck the apple from the tree. If you're not wealth to offer, you say, she will scorn you and turn away. But once you promise her treasure, she says she will love you forever. To murderous wrath she gives birth. Leave no peace on this earth, leaving no peace on this earth. Wounds inflicted by swords, cut less deep than women's bad words. Incel poetry. <laughs> what a what a fun book. What a fun little book. <laughs> uh, takes me back to reading, to reading, um, oh God, what's his name? You know, in, um, Vildati, Vildat, no. You know, God of War, you know, that poetry in God of War Ragnarok. That was really fun. That was fun reading all those <laughs> that poetry. It takes me back. All right, track down Riki. <laughs> what happened? What am I to do? <laughs> Kalishka. Oh, thank you for saving game. I needed no. a good old save. <laughs> Talk, please. <laughs> Find out about the weeping. I'm trying from the no from the executioner. Oh, okay. She's too distraught to talk. Okay. Hey, Exy, <laughs> executioner. We're buddies. The crying woman. Do you know there's a girl crying on your doorstep? I executed her husband. What? You killed him? Oh, no, sad. no, not like that. It was done lawfully. She knew he had it coming. So then, why...? Folk would like to drive her out of town. She has no one here. For a while, I thought I could take care of her, but it wasn't to be. God, how messy. That is so messy. Why? No, it wasn't. Why? Why? Do you really have to ask? Mm. I can't even go to the tavern for company, and no one would sup their ale with me. Yeah. When I die, they'll probably push me into a hole with a stick so as not to touch my corpse. Yeah, I've heard them. Really that bad? Yeah. I'm not complaining, mind. It's a well-paid job. 
if you don't mind being a pariah. They might look sideways at you, too, just for talking to me. And that's what she's afraid uh, of? Exactly. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard people talk a lot of shit about him. It's just like witches, you know what I mean? Like, people always talk shit on witches, but, you know, they're there when you need a monster killing, you know? Like... I get it. I, I, with I, not with witches. I don't get the hate for the witches. That's just that's just bigotry. That's just gross and stupid. But the executioner, I get it. I, 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 I get the disdain for them, you know. But still, yeah, I get it. But it's still fucked, you know. I understand. I, I, it's just yeah. Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? None she knows of, poor lass. You could help her, though, if you wanted. Me? How? Elishka has no family, but her husband might still have some kin. Nobody will talk to me, but you could find out more. Why do you want to help her? What if she stayed with you? What would she have to put up with if she stayed with you? <laughs> A lot, I can't deny. Most of the town folk wouldn't give her the time of day, at least not in public. Mm. If we had children, it would be even worse for them. That doesn't sound like a very happy life. Mm. It's not all bad. It's a well-paid job and even respected in a way. And when someone needs a bone set, all of a sudden they forget your reputation. Of course. Why do you want to help her? Why do you want to find her family anyway? Don't you want her to stay here? I do. She's a splendid woman. But I'd never want to keep her here against her will. The <laughs> yeah. life I lead isn't for everyone. What should I do? How can I find out if there's any family? Try asking Elishka herself. She knows a thing or two about them. But in the end, you'll still have to go and find out something from the bailiff or from the records at the rat house. Oh, the bailiff. Oh, the rat house. I'm so sick of that place after the last mission. I'll help. All right. I'll see what I can do. My thanks, if only for the thought. Alishka. I've never heard of that name before. Alishka. Talk to Alishka. God, I remember when... Um... Just the very fact that I'm talking to you. Listen. Nobody will ever look at me again. Um, Herman sent me. What a way to end up! <laughs> Don't despair. It could be a lot worse. Only death could be worse, and I'm not far from it. <laughs> can I ask about your family? Can I... Can I ask about your family? <laughs> what do you want to know? Your relatives. Don't you have any kin left? Someone who'd take you in? No. They all died of the plague. <laughs> and then I ended up with that man of mine. I always knew he'd get strung up one day. <laughs> what about your husband's family? Didn't your husband have any kin? Maybe. He mentioned some, but we never went to see them. Is that all you know? Yes. yes. But if they're anything like my old man, the bailiff and his catchpoles will know about them. That's enough. That's all I need. All right. I remember when Pashak or Pashak oh was talking to us about the executioner, kind of warning us of him, like, oh, you better be careful. He's a bit, but he seems like a really, like a nice guy, you know? Like we've, we've had good dealings with him. And especially now with this woman, Elishka, he seems like a decent person, you know? It's that stigma that he has, I guess. Every time I see this, I think of Henry's dad, you know? I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? Hinnick. He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Ooh. Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Tried his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. Do you know him? Can you tell me anything about him? So you know this Hinnick? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Oh, another that? one. 
No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Ricky keeps bad company. Ooh, so I've that's... never heard a good word said about him. So he smells. That's why he's called Ricky. What's his father like? What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hynek Ricky? Because he why smells. Why do they call Ricky Ooh. anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. Mm. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Pinnock's nature's no sweeter than his smell. How come he has such a bad reputation? Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his own man. He doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Rate for thieving. And then Neuhoff, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. There must be someone who talks to Ricky. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Adela. Oh, Tanner. Hey. God say how you. unpleasant he is, Ricky. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Who are his friends? Do you at least know any friends he's with or someone he goes to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the baths. Uh. I am an I am an envoy of Sir Radzik. Hynek is in trouble. Don't make me angry. I'm an envoy of Sir Radzik. Yeah, let's say that. Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radzik Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off and tell me where your son is right now. I apologise if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Hynek is. He turned up at the house a while back. But then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh, what? <sighs> Look, it's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. Oh. But I'm still his father, right? Mm. And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. Maybe there's a way out. That's up to Sir Radzik. He's in it. Maybe there's a way out. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnick cooperates, he can save his neck. I can't mm -hmm. say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. Mm -hmm. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. I need to know more. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. Make an effort. You must have noticed something. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. Uh, so, so he probably went woods. through thick woods yeah. to get to that place. I reckon. Yeah. What do I know? 
Well, we learnt something at least. Optional, talk to the bathhouse wench that Riki is seeing. Optional, Riki was selling poached game, the innkeeper. Okay, so I do definitely want to talk to the bath maid, house maiden. Um, track down Riki. Yeah, the bathhouse wench. Okay, let's go speak with her. Are you an archer? I noticed the targets. Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry, of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm Vatek, from here. Why are you so curious about the target? I'm interested in archery. It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what <laughs> you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? I, right, Henry, I, listen up. I didn't. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. This guy, so exactly this guy has nothing I'll tell but you. archery going a bunch on of in logs his life. floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own coloured fletching, oh and the contest God. ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout. You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with coloured fletching. Absolutely. Come on, then. Ah, one more chump. Excellent. Now you have to bet at least 10 groschen, 50 at most. There'll be three oh archers God. competing at the time. I the winner gets this. triple his wager and the second gets his coin back. All right. So how much will you bet? Oh, I don't want to lose the shirt off my back. I'd best be careful. That's the betting over with. Now here are your arrows. Good luck to you. Give me how many arrows you think I'll need. You now. need to give me 10 more. Well, no, 20 more. What? Oh. So we need to get the logs. All right. You've no chance against me, amateurs. Probably not, but like, you know. I've got this easy. Damn, missed. Oh my god. We haven't even gotten one. Another on target. I don't think I even got one. No. How did it go? <laughs> you came last, lad. But tune up. Of course, I as knew As soon as you make some money, you can stop by here again and lose it all. Adela. Hey! I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman? A sinner? That I seduce decent men? Nothing like that. That's your effort. Nothing like that. Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, oh, I've seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where's Hinek? Where can I find Hinek? Hinek. I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I, I don't know. I'm a friend of Hinek's. Sounds like he's up to something. Oh, we have two speech options. Her speech is seven, ours is nine. I'm a friend. Mm. I don't know if she'll believe that. I'm going to say I'm a friend. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? Oh. No. Yes. More like hares or other game. So Hinek is a poacher? That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. When did you see him last, Hinnick's hideout? I found out that Hinnick goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um. Don't worry. Hinnick has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. How did you know he's been to the woods? 
Who did his other meet to? Which direction did he go to his hideout? Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood. And he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. Who did he sell the meat to? Do you know to? who he sold it to? Who are you? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I mm -hmm. reckon. It makes sense. For sure. How do you know he's been to the woods? How did you know he'd been to the woods? Jesus. He always talks about what he caught. And he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. When did you see him last? When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. Drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? Hmm. He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Hmm. I just want to ask about Hinek. What do you want to know? What did he say that evening? Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. Mm. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. That's what I was going to do. I need to go back to you, you shits. Now that we can read... I want to read what the bloodied word or writing was above Lubosh's body. So we'll go do that as well. About the money. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. Oh, I see. Interesting. What did he say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. Did you look for the money? Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Where exactly is it hidden? Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding, in the western corner. All right, thank you. No one else would sleep with him? Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. <laughs> other whores. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only because his old man is a grouch and a tanner. I heard something different. I heard they don't like him because he keeps company with villains. True enough. But they didn't like him before that either. What or me. They're close-minded yokels. Hmm. Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinnick thinks differently, but that's how it goes. Uh, ask at the woodcutter's camp. I want to go to the innkeeper. Oh, main level. Okay. Uh, hungry. No, thank you. Reducing stealth by 30%. No. Slower during the day. No. Sleeping. No. Insomniac is good. Increases the time you can do, go, can do without sleep. Your energy levels fall one quarter more slowly. That's good. First aid advantages are 25% more effective. You can also apply your healing skills in dialogue. That's good. Scout increases the sight distance of fast travel so you notice events on the way sooner and your chances of evading also increase by 20%. That's good. Brute. You favor brute strength to a pleasant demeanor. You get a plus two strength bonus but a minus one penalty on charisma and speech. No, thank you. Cloak and dagger. You prefer to remain in the shadows. You have a plus two stealth bonus at the cost of a minus one penalty to both strength and speed. No, thank you. Golden tongue. You always favoured diplomacy over brute force. You get a plus two speech bonus but a negative two strength loss. Oh my god. Juggler. You've been exceptionally supple and agile since childhood. However, turning somersaults and falling on your head and left has and left their mark. You have a plus two agility 
but a minus one penalty to speech and charisma fucking hell ken you're handsome and charismatic but you haven't built up your strength minus two strength your momentary reading level increased by three but you're strengthened oh my god they just want to like decimate our strength and our speech Ugh, i don't like that i don't know what to go i don't know if I want to do insomniac or first aid, let's do first aid too in dialogue. I like that. God, some of those are brutal. Oh my God, our reputation in Rat High is 43. Citizens, soldiers 23. Oh my God. Oh, we have to go to the tavern. Is this the tavern? This sounds like the tavern. Yes. I heard those that dice. You, What's happening around here? What's happening around here? Ah, you know how it is. Always something. Especially at the mill. Not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always huddled there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. Oh, and another thing. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhuta here for some time. The local herb woman. She always comes here once a week for a tankard of ale. But she ain't turned up recently. Well, nothing's happened to her. Ricky. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. They've nothing to do with Ricky. Huh. You only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? Huh. I heard a different story. Mm -hmm. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Okay, I have no time for evasions. Buying from poachers is a crime. A bit of coin might help. Hinek owes you something? About the goods Riki owes you. What about it? Well, supposing I settle the account mm. for him and you stop dodging my questions and tell me what I want to know. Mm. I suppose that would be all right. How much is it? Before he vanished, I paid him in advance for five heirs. I have something with me. We can settle things right away. As it happens, I have some game with me. Let's see it then. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Have you got it or not? Oh my god, really? So now we have to get him game. Alright, fucking hell. Alright, let's go find his stash. Oh, start digging. Oh. Oh. All right, we need to go back to the mill. We need to unload. We need to sell some of this stuff. And we won't be able to fast travel. So we need to ride. Oh, it's not too far away. Woohoo! Okay. Let's head over there. Let's see if we can... Uh, spend some time with Teresa now. You look like something the cat dragged in. Why? Really? Ugh, it's not good. Fancy doing something again? I'd love to, Henry, but not just now. Come and see me in a couple of days. You've got to let a girl catch up. A... Alright, fuck. Playing hard to get. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can wash our clothes at the bathhouse and then we can continue on our quest. You could at least dress decently before showing your face in public. What do you... Alright, what about now? Do I look fine now? Track down Riki, bring the hair meat to the innkeeper. Alright, okay, 60. Go and see Teresa, okay. I know what Teresa's doing now. I could stop by and see her again. I enjoyed it last time. Alright, alright. So I guess the game lets us know when it's time to see her which is nice oh what the fuck hmm. what was that well i never <laughs> is that all you got <laughs> pick the wrong guy to mess with <laughs> oh, christ Can I take his ear? Why can't we cut his ear off? How can I take his ear off? Okay, <laughs> whatever. 
Where are the rabbits? Where are the hares? I can hear yelling. Save game. Who are you people? Well, I never... What's going on there? Bandit. What's that? What have we got here? <gasps> How can I like... <gasps> I don't know how I'm supposed to like get like defend myself with so many people, you know, like Can I fucking defend? Like... Enough, I yield! You'll Can I like unlock off, please? Is there another guy? I feel like there's another guy. Um, can I use a bandage, please? Left arm. Wow, I can't believe I defeated all them. Hey, don't, don't mind me, just got into a fight. I think we're getting ripped off selling our stuff to him. I had a piece of jewelry that was worth seven hundred dollars. All right. I I think I should probably just sell him the stolen goods. You were too badly hurt. Well, I'm too hurt hey, to look to look at the time. Wanna... I'm too hurt to look at the time. Okay. Let's go to bed. You're too badly hurt. You need treatment. Oh, I thought that sleep would just... All right. Um, let's go to the bathhouses. Are we tired? No, we're not tired at all. And it's night time. Oh, life imitating art. Never tired at the right times. Oh, okay. Yes, we need hair. We need hair. That's what we were doing. I hate that. I hate this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, fucking hell. I hate bushes that like are impenetrable, you know? You can't, it's like a wall. Oh, it's so annoying. Look at that beautiful sky, look at that. I'm gonna fall off my horse if I keep doing that. <laughs> but it's so pretty. Oh. Am I gonna be able to see hairs in the dark actually? Oh no. Just a person. Very dangerous to just be strolling around here. Yeah. Wayfarer. Probably not the best thing. Yeah, we can't see. Let's see if we can find a bed. Private area. Can I actually sit on a bench? Let me just sit here and just wait if we're allowed to do that. Let me just sit on your bench for seven hours. I think I want to get insomniac next. Unless there's a better thing to get, obviously. Yes. 21 of 60. Okay. So we need three hairs. Fucking hell. Yes. New level in hunting. Shit. I think we have five arrows left. Oh my god. Oh, fucking hell. Oh shit. I need to get my dog. I forgot to call Mutt. Oh, there he is. Okay. I have the game. I've got that game for you. Splendid. Some of the customers have been asking after it. Cool. Hmm. That looks pretty good. So. What do you want to know about Hinek? Hinek's hideout. I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How all do right. you know that? 
Whenever Ricky was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. Alright, how much game did he bring you? Where is the mine And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And okay. I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Three Thank you. places, okay. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. Uh, it's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. All right. Thank you. How much game did How he bring? How much game did he bring you? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry has something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. Alright. Okay, that is it for me today. I am so exhausted. I've been playing for so long, I literally could not stop. Like I said before, this game is so frustrating and I love it and I hate it at the same time time but i'm slowly getting the hang of it definitely saving often has really really helped me since one little scuffle can literally just wipe out hours and hours of save um i mean it's like that for most games i guess but i i feel like usually in games i just i spam that save constantly but you know with this one you know you need the schnapps and when there's a resource that's very finite, it kind of, I don't know, I'm hesitant to use it. But you know what? I, I just, I need to, you know, I just die away too frequently. Getting the hang of the, uh, the bow and arrow very slowly, but at least I can actually do it now. So that's really fun. Yeah, really, really, really enjoying the game for the most part. Yeah, like I said. It was hard for me to stop. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you for the next one. Bye.